Alice Baber, An Infinite Range of Possibilities. Produced by Tobin Reese Fine Art. Buying and Selling, The Work of Alice Baber. In a 1973 interview, painter Alice Baber discussed her unique vision of space. I feel that an abstract painting is outer space, she explained, and I am in front of it, suspended in outer space, so that there isn't any horizon line. However, there is probably a sense of up and down, and side to side, and there's a sense of infinity, which I like very much. Interested in art from an early age, Alice Baber first studied with landscape painter Paul Turner Sargent at the age of eight. Fifteen years later, after studying with Alton Pickens at Indiana University, she graduated with a Master of Arts degree. Baber then moved to New York City, where she worked as the art editor of McCall's, a popular women's magazine. She had her first solo exhibition in 1958 at the March Gallery on 10th Street, where a cluster of artist-run galleries was creating an active avant-garde art scene. After her New York exhibition, Baber left for France, where she studied briefly at the School of Fine Art in Fontainebleau. She then settled in Paris. By 1959, Baber was painting monochromatic abstractions that featured soft, expressive brushwork. In Paris, Baber grew close to Paul Jenkins, an abstract painter she had first met in New York. Jenkins, who had built a career showing in both Paris and New York City, was one of a number of American artists, including Sam Francis and Joan Mitchell, who were transforming abstract expressionism by hybridizing Asian and Western aesthetics. Jenkins, who developed a pouring technique that used gravity to create dynamic washes of paint on white grounds, was connected with a European style called Tashism, or staining. After marrying in 1964, Baber and Jenkins traveled to Japan and exhibited their work together in Osaka. Baber's paintings of the 1960s gradually became more dynamic and transparent. She began to favor ovals and other softly curving forms and applied her paint by rubbing it into the canvas with her fingers rather than pouring as Jenkins did. The couple continued to travel extensively and influenced each other's art until they divorced in 1970. Over time, Baber's work grew increasingly spare and ethereal, often featuring extensive areas of empty space. During the 1970s, Baber continued to travel and exhibited her work in Iran, India, and 13 Latin American countries. She taught at the University of California in Santa Barbara and Berkeley. Baber was also a feminist who organized exhibitions of women artists and wrote about their work. When she died of cancer at the young age of 54, she left behind a considerable legacy as an artist and scholar. Her work can be found in numerous museums across the world and in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. <music>